hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video today's video is another movie review i know it's been a minute since i did one of these so i'm back with one so this movie is on netflix it just came out and it's called resort resort to love Fe starring christina million and jay farrow so guys yes let's just say I was anticipating to watch this. So, guys, if y'all watching, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I do one of these movies and show reviews. Okay, so it's starring Christina Milian. Okay, her character name is Erica. And then she has a best friend named Amber. And then... Um... Her spouse to be named is Jason. Okay, so basically, it starts off with okay, Jason and Erica. They're about to get engaged. Yeah, I mean, about to get married. They're already engaged. So they've been dating for four years. Um, it's crazy. So. After that part, she, um, they eventually called off their wedding and Jason left and never came back. So Erica, with the help of her best friend, um, Amber, um, help her get a gig on um, with this artist because she's a singer. So she was about to go to a listening party for his album because she's featured on one of the songs and... And the prop before she gets there, she is takes she starts taking a photo shoot, and then as she's about to leave, her shirt caught a snag, so she had to change her um clothes. Her um friend Amber was going through her closet, and she seen that she still had her wedding dress, so she was like, "Listen, you're not getting married no time soon. We about to cut up this dress, and you about to rock it, okay?" She did her thing. She looked cute in it too. I was like, "Okay, that's what's up." So they go to listen listening party and they thought they was going to hear the new music or whatever. But the artist, Cree, went berserk and was like, listen, ain't nobody listening to it because somebody really leaked my music and I ain't got time for that. So he ended up breaking his whole laptop so that nobody could listen to the music. But anyways, after that, she was devastated. She left out of there and they started, some lady started playing this song, I guess, um, not this song. Alicia Keys' song, No One. That's like a classic Thomas song. Started playing this song. And she's looking around like, where is it coming from? And she found out where it coming from. And then she's like, can you please play another song? Got tears coming down her face. Look at a whole hot mess or whatever. And eventually, I think she just, Amber took, her, took Erica home. And that was it. So I think it was like a couple of days later, Amber... She guess finds Erica a new gig, saying that she has a she can go on vacation, um to the somewhere off of Madagascar. It's called Maturis, something like that. Whatever. So she event Amber eventually convinces Erica to go on vacation. Says so she needed a break. And she needed to change the scenery, whatever. Like I said, um, Erica eventually decides to go. And when Erica gets there, she finds out. No, she actually told her it's a gig to sing. But when she gets there, she actually finds out that she's a wedding singer. Yeah, I know. If y'all ever watched the movie The Wedding Singer starring Adam Sandler, y'all already know. She was the female version of that movie. But yeah, so she becomes a wedding singer. So she gets there. The place is beautiful, sparkling, ice blue waters. The only thing that she didn't like was the geckos. Every five seconds, you're seeing one crawling <laughs> everywhere. Like, mm-mm, sister, I don't do that. But anyways, she gets a tour of the place. Her room is basically paid off. So her job is to be a wedding singer, free room and board, and you know, you just can't swim in the um 
the pool, but that the place you had to go to the beach or whatever. So she was all for it or whatever. But she come to find out. Amber misled her with that. She was like, so you knew. And she's like, like <laughs> laughing off, like thinking like, how else was it going to get you to go? It's a job, right? You're getting paid to do it. So, you know, you got to get your mind off of things or whatever. So first of all, she had a failed attempt of marriage and then a failed attempt at a record gig. So that's two for two. So in the beginning, she starts crying at um one of the um guests' wedding. And the the lady, the hostess, um, they didn't really tell what her name was, but the hostess was like, listen, you got to get it together. I didn't um bring you down here for you to do all this. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and leave and you find your own way back home to New York. So she was like, she get your act together, okay? So she starts learning the lay of the land and the guy that picked up Barrington, he's also in the um, band as well. So he helps her have a good time. So she's in up the, there like a month and a half already. So she's, you know, learning, the, learning what to do and what not to do. And she starts coming around and it's a good thing. So after that, she's some, some crazy whatever happened that she ends up going to the beach one day and she's laying there trying to get a suntan or whatever. And then she hears this guy in the water talking about help, help, help. So she eventually jumps up and like, and goes help to save the man. And she does attempt to, but then eventually he's going crazy talking about I need my girl, GoPro. I need my GoPro. Like I, 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 I can't live without my GoPro. I need, I need my camera. I need my camera. So eventually, I think they both get, t um, yeah, they both get pulled on the water because he's looking for a GoPro, and she's also trying to save his life. And they just going back and forth. So out of nowhere, you see this <laughs> sexy chocolate man come out of the water, have her in her arms, and the guy on the back, on his back, like. Scared out of his life, scared out of his mind, and he walking them off to the beach and to the sand or whatever to land, and he makes sure that they're both okay. And this guy is still going up by his GoPro, and then eventually, the guy gives him his camera, and then he was like, like a YouTuber, he started vlogging like so. I almost had a near, you ever heard of a near near, near life ex near life death experience well i just had one <laughs> he's like what in the world stuff people do for a video <laughs> but anyways okay he introduces himself and he makes sure that erica's okay and the guy's okay whatever and the guy walks off whatever so, so he introduces himself as caleb and erica you know she seems smitten by him like first appearance sexy chocolate whole nine like yeah mm -hmm, gorgeous so yeah they eventually um start walking on the beach or whatever and they end up going in separate ways she first well before they go separate ways, she it was like this is a small island we eventually will bump into each other because he was here he she he explains to her why he's there he's here for his um brother's wedding but you know she's like well i'm here because i work here or whatever so they go their separate ways so I think it was like the next day or so, she comes walking down into the lobby and she sees the magazine that she's about to look at. And then lo and behold, here comes Caleb again. And they start chatting it up or whatever. And then she's like, so you stalking me? He was like, um, I did say I'm here for my brother's wedding. And then he shows her where her brother is. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> you're gonna be shocked his brother <laughs> is her ex fiance jason <laughs> yes honey i was like what it's small world for real and so she was like so you're caleb caleb king wow see jason told me I, he had a brother older brother in the military but i just never met him Lo and behold, she met the brother. Boy, 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 boy. She was about to be at the entanglement. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so, yeah. um, 
yeah, things just start going crazy. Then she sees um Jason's friend Christian because like you know they're all from New York, so she was like, they all shocked to see each other. And then eventually, Jason and his fiance come over to where they are, and they was like, he's like, please don't tell my, please don't tell my fiance, please don't tell my fiance, because he's like, he don't know how she would act and things would go left, and then he ended up having you know two fiancés, ex fiancés, and it's like he gonna be meant to be alone, whatever. So, eventually, Beverly and her sister goes over to where Erica, Jason, and Caleb is, and Christian. And they all start talking, whatever. Uh, then, after that, I think the next day, um, Beverly invites um, Erica to go with them hiking. Because she want to have a friend or whatever, since... They're all friends from New York. So, it was like, listen, you could come along. Even though she does work at the store and sing or whatever. So, she does go with them on the hike. And then they start, you know, bonding, whatever. And then, at one incident where they're walking over the long bridge, Jason gets stuck. And he's in, in his, in his f fear of heights kicking. So, basically, they don't say, see as if nothing's wrong. But Erica walks back. And talks Jason to come on um off the bridge so they can get onto land safely. Caleb and Christian seen that they was like, mm, hope things don't go left, whatever. After that, she eventually goes home to her room, whatever, and change or whatever. And then I think they go out to dinner later or so. But in a way, Caleb and Erica they just kept bumping against each other. It's like. They liked each other from get go, from the day on the beach. Like they just clicked, and eventually, Jason starts getting jealous. Like, why are you mad? You about to have a whole wife. You didn't want your first fiance. Stick with your second one. So Caleb and Erica start spending more and more time together, and you know Jason wants to talk about how he think he made a mistake of leaving Erica. And they want to hash out their feelings, whatever. But it's like, for what? Erica basically wanted closure. She finally got over him. And he trying to relive something that could have happened, but it didn't. I guess that was God's way of saying that them two didn't belong. So, eventually, they do, you know, get the closure they need. Um, There's a part that I'm missing. Their, their parents come to town. Jason and Kayla's parents come into town so that they can be there for the wedding. Mind you, his um, fiance Beverly have not met his parents at all, but, at all. And Erica was like to Jason, I wish you would have did that for me. That was like a kind of awkward moment, but it's true. I mean, some things, you know, you kind of wish it would have happened too. But then again, that's a sign that it wasn't meant for you. So... Um, after that, they end up going to dinner, and Caleb and Erica, they go their separate ways, and then like a, like an hour or two later, Caleb shows up at Erica's door. Mind you, she was expecting Jason, so thinking maybe they could rekindle something that that they lost, but obviously not. So Caleb ended up spending the night, which is I thought was nice, because he stayed the whole night. They end up falling asleep. In the living room on the floor watching, I guess, Netflix and other stuff like that on TV. And, <coughs> sorry. And then they wake up. I was like, listen, it's time to go to sleep. So as she goes to her bed, because she offered him her bed. And he said, no, I'll take the couch. So when he got on the couch, he was like, oh, yeah. So he acted like he was fake snoring and sleeping away that was really loud. And she just laying there like, oh, my God, what did I just do? And he was like, so he wants to go and say nothing. <laughs> I was like, what? That part was cute too. So they the next morning rolls around. Jason comes to her door and she's telling him, she opens, she was like, Good morning. Um, this is not a good time. Soon as she said that, here comes Kayla walking to the door. Jason was tight. <laughs> he was like, What in the world? Yeah. So after that happened. Um, Beverly invites Erica to bachelorette party. 
And then the boys have theirs, whatever. So they do karaoke. Yo, Beverly, she was killing the karaoke. She sung Nicki Minaj song, uh, Super Bass. Love that song. Uh, hands down, love that song. She did her thing. Everybody was clapping for her. It was just like a joyous, happy occasion. But mind you, Jason still want to talk to Erica to hash out some feelings that he feel like they regret it or whatever the case may be. So that don't happen. Yes, it does. Let me stop lying. Yes, Jason and Erica do meet up and talk a little bit. And then she was about to, I guess they are about to lean in for a kiss. And Erica looks down and she sees the gecko on his shirt. So she pushes him down into the bushes. And great thing that happened because after that, um, Beverly comes to get Erica to do some more dancing, whatever. So she leaves and then the boys leave and whatever the case could be. And then for some odd reason... Caleb and Erica meet back up with each other on the beach. Not even coincidental. They just so happen. She go into her room and he's just going for a walk. So they was like, well, let's have a meditation. And then they go, you know, do their thing. And that's it. Then, because the whole time his parents do not know that Erica works there. So that next morning, Jason and Erica start talking and her mom, their mom, sees them on the beach. She was like, so is that Jason with his ex, Erica? And mind you, his wife, his fiance Beverly, and her sister, Janelle, do not know. So Janelle is on rampage mode. She's like, oh, I'm going after this chick. She about to lose her life. I was like, what? They start running around the Dagon Hotel, whatever. And then um, Beverly was like, the wedding's off. We're not doing this. The wedding's off. It's crazy. So, they, yeah, after that, eventually, Erica, she sees um, Barrington in his car. And he she jumps in trying to get away from Janelle. But when she get in, he, Barrington's like, this is not a good time for you. And next, all you hear was Beverly, get out of the van. <laughs> she turns around like, yeah, and he was like, I told you this was a good time. <laughs> like, so eventually, they have a heart-to-heart. -heart and, you know, they reconcile the differences. So they stop. And then Janelle caught up to them as um, Erica's getting out the car. Janelle just goes, <laughs> and you see her fly down to the ground. And then you see um, Beverly. She's like, no, Janelle. And, you know, eventually they get married. They say their vows. And she's, Erica sings the song that they really want to be sung. Because I think um, no one was supposed to be Jason and Erica's wedding song. Because she was going to eventually sing them Diamonds by Rihanna. So she does sing them No One by Alicia Keys. It was so beautiful. They looked nice and everything. And then Caleb comes up to her and she... Erica says something, and then Caleb says, I am. So you already know he got her hooked. So you already know. After that, she goes sing the song to them, and it was just beautiful. She get her man. Technically, she had both. You have brothers. You had brothers. Like, <laughs> girl. She had the younger brother first, then she got with the older brother. Like, for me, it ended off beautiful. I, I, the movie was definitely worth watching. Um, Both Caleb and Erica, they look like they made a better couple. In such a short amount of time, it's like they they fell in love like that. Because every time you turn around, they was together. So, this is like it was like meant for them to be together. So, you see at the end, Erica, she gets a call from her friend Amber... And she was like, listen, um, Creed's about to start up on his album. And she said, well, hopefully he finally does release it this time. And Amber wanted her to go back home to New York to be on it. He was, she was like, nah, I'm good. And she hangs up. And then you see her and Caleb jumping into the water. It's just so beautiful. Amazing. Like, it's you can tell that they was meant, they were supposed to be together. Like, her and Jason, they didn't have that type of chemistry. It's like Caleb and Erica had that chemistry from the day on the beach. 
that's when you know it's real. But anyway, guys, that was an awesome movie. If y'all have not checked it out and y'all would like to check it out, please check it out. It's called Resort to Love. You know, as in a resort, like you go to a place. Resort to Love. Yes, yeah, starring Christina Milian and Jay Farrow, which was played by Jason. Beautiful, uh, great, charming, heartfelt movie. Definitely worth watching on Netflix, okay? So, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this. Please give it a like. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button so that you will never miss out on another one of these movie slash show reviews. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.